Hello friends, welcome into the Cowboys Report presented by BetDSI, the internet's number one sportsbook. I am your host Tom Downey, here to take a look at all the latest Cowboys rumors. First up, is Xavier Suofilo going to start over Connor Williams? I'll give it three stars in terms of the overall, really, not just this week, but even maybe a couple weeks from now. And This is really almost four stars for this week in particular, but I'm kind of merging both this week and future stuff down the road here. So Jason Garrett says the Cowboys are going to do what's best for the team. And right now, that's Xavier Suofilo. He was working with the first team today. Connor Williams, again, coming off of that knee scope. Dallas is not going to rush him back. But Suofilo was great last week against the Philadelphia Eagles. Now gets a chance to build on that and maybe, just maybe, pull a Ron Leary on Connor Williams, in this case, the Leo Collins of this example, and prevent Seo from getting back into the starting lineup. So who should start at left guard? Type W for Connor Williams. Type S for Xavier Suofilo. I am a pro Connor Williams guy, but even I'm saying right now, you should start Suofilo. If he plays great again, keep him in the lineup. You need to win right now. You might as well go with right now the player who appears to be the better guard. We'll check in, of course, with this, I think, almost every single week for a good portion of this season. All right, speaking of the offensive line here, is Travis Frederick not going to play this year? I'm going to give this one three stars. And there's some good news and still some bad news here with Frederick. And we'll start things off here with the good news. He has feeling back in his hands. That's a big deal. Like, that's a very good news, not even just for the football side of it for Frederick, but for the life side of it. The bad news is, still doesn't have feeling in his feet yet coming back from his diagnosis of Gia Barre syndrome. So that's not good news. So I don't think you're going to see Travis Frederick play this year. I'm very glad, of course, that the feeling is back in his hands. But from an on-field perspective, I don't think you're going to see Frederick return this season. Even though I do think at some point, maybe it's next year, I think you'll see Frederick back on the Cowboys. Folks, today's show is brought to you by BetDSI, the Internet's number one sportsbook. We've got a special deal for you guys with BetDSI. Use promo code COWBOYS120 when you sign up. You'll get a 120% deposit bonus. What that means is you put down 100 bucks. that will give you 120 for free for a grand total of 220 to bet with on BetDSI if you use promo code COWBOYS120 at chatsports.com slash bet. All right, more offensive line rumors here. Tyron Smith, is he going to be able to play? I think he's going to. We'll give it three stars for now, but I'm always skittish around Tyron Smith and back, and oh, God, it's the Falcons coming up again this week. Color me triggered then. Now, he sat out Wednesday's practice with back spasm. He is going to practice a little bit, though, today on Thursday. Still should play against the Falcons, and I'll always – be a little bit concerned about Tyron Smith in that back because once the back starts to go, typically doesn't really recover in the same way. So hopefully he's able to play because I don't want Cameron Fleming out there. He was a disaster in the preseason. I don't want to see him play. I don't want a repeat of the Falcons game because even if Adrian Claiborne isn't there anymore, Claiborne's not very good. That Falcons pass rush might even be better this year. So hopefully Tyron's able to go. I think he will, but that is something worth monitoring throughout the week. All right, more Cowboys rumors. First up, as we get to the outlandish portion of today's show, is Leighton Van Der Esch on the Pro Bowl ballot? Four stars. you got to be kidding me, NFL. This is laughably bad oversight by the NFL. How do you not put Leighton Van Der Esch on the Pro Bowl ballot? I mean, you're putting all kinds of linebackers on there, and you leave off Leighton Van Der Esch. You also left off Chiefs receiver Tyreek Hill. But as of filming, you haven't fixed the Leighton Van Der Esch mistake. Meanwhile, you got bums like Devontae Bond on there. He has six tackles this year, and you put him on there, you leave Leighton Van Der Esch off. Kyle Emanuel, well, he's on there. Ben Gideon, Camus Gruger hill who is the linebacker version of Jeff Heath for the Philadelphia Eagles, in the sense that he can also kick off. And then Najee Good's on there, too. How do you forget about Leighton Van Der Esch to the just one rookie of the week? Come on, NFL. He's a number 19 overall pick. How do you not put him on there? Huge mistake by the NFL. What are you guys doing over there? Speaking of Van Resch, who's the better linebacker, though? Because Jalen Smith is on the Pro Bowl ballot. Who's better, though, Jalen or Leighton Van Der Esch? And there's really not a wrong answer as far as I'm concerned. But let me know in the comments section. And if you guys want your own awesome mizzen and mange like the one I'm wearing right now, you can get one. Comfortable.af is the site because these shirts are indeed comfortable as F. Go check them out. You will not find a more comfortable shirt, dress or otherwise, 
and a Mizzen and Main shirt. All right, more Cowboys rumors as we get into just uh, the chaos that has been this week around the NFL and the Cowboys. How about signing Le'Veon Bell, right? No, this is a terrible idea. Now, Peter Schrager of NFL.com wrote down some of his quotes from his prediction and claim that the Cowboys should sign Le'Veon Bell. Quote, I am being serious with this. Well, you shouldn't be, Peter. Le'Veon Bell doesn't need to be a featured back. Yes, he does. What are you talking about? You have Ezekiel Elliott. Well, you do, so why go sign Bell? Next up, we'll pay the man and figure out the position later. That is terrible roster m management. Quote, I know it doesn't make sense on paper. You're damn right it doesn't. Quote, they don't have a receiving target right now. Did you forget about Amari Cooper? And finally, I don't think it's crazy. It absolutely is crazy. You telling me that the Cowboys should go throw $40 million and about $14 million per year at minimum for, for Lev Bell and make him into a slot receiver? Come on. What kind of roster construction is that? Go save that money for Demarcus Lawrence. Go save that money for his safety, like an Earl Thomas. Don't waste it on another running back. That doesn't make any sense. Le'Veon Bell to the Cowboys. I know it'd be fun in Madden. Two running back systems don't really work like that, and you cannot invest in reality. Two of the six highest paid halfbacks if you do that. That is not a way to put a roster in today's NFL. So I'm giving that one fake news. Next up, how about Tony Romo as the Cowboys GM? Guys, I'm tired. I really am. I am just, I am tired of the week in, week out. Let's just keep elevating Tony Romo to a higher position. I'm giving this one fake news. Stephen A. Smith, and well, there's your first mistake for starters, says Romo should be the GM because he's a football guy. And football guys know what they're doing, right? Here's the thing. I love Romo. I want to make that very clear because sometimes I, I, I come off as very Romo negative because I don't want to be the head coach or the GM right now. But he has zero front office or coaching experience. You're just going to go hire somebody from the broadcast booth to be your GM? That's not a good idea. Now, if you want to bring Romo into a role in the front office or a role in the coaching staff, I am fine with that. I love that idea. But the idea of suddenly making him your GM, bad idea. Even John Elway ran an AFL team before he became the Broncos GM. And the next call, I assume, is here to make Romo the owner. Okay, I'm actually kind of okay with that one. That one I might be able to live with. But uh, GM coaching staff or GM head coach, it's a little bit too far. There's a role for Romo on this team right now. But let's face it, guys. That's CBS gig. That's as cushy as it comes, especially in terms of the stress that puts Romo on his family life and his golfing career, too.